The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the goat, and the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and a little child shall lead them. Long years ago, God sent a promise to the people of Judea that one day a Savior would come to lead them out of slavery and bondage into a new land where freedom and peace would reign. That promise was given by God to the prophets, and they delivered the good news to the people. Hold on to hope, they were told. Be strong in your faith, they heard, and all shall come to pass. And so the people waited and watched and wondered when the dark times would end. The government was harsh and cruel, freedoms few. How long must they wait for the promised deliverance from ruthless oppression? Where was a righteous army who would be strong enough to defeat the invincible soldiers of Caesar? Where was their savior? Where was their warrior? Where was their king?
The prophet Isaiah gave hope when he said, Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Isaiah 40, 1 through 5. And then, on a cold and silent night, in a small corner of a humble stable, the promise was kept. In the dim and flickering light of a lantern, Mary was chosen by God to give birth to a wondrous child, and his name was Jesus. In the stillness of that cold December night, Mary wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. In that instant, the promise was met, and the promise began. The promise made to the people so long ago had been of a Savior, and that Savior was Jesus. People everywhere expected to be saved by force and might, with victory and freedom wrenched by one great warrior from another, a warrior, an army, a Savior, a King. Instead, the promise was fulfilled by God in a new way. This tiny child, not a warrior, had been sent to bring the message of his, his love to all people, a gift everlasting that asked only that we believe. And so the baby Jesus, the Christ child, was born in a lowly stable. No trumpets announced his birth. No royal decrees spread the news. There was no golden carriage, no lavish gifts. He came humbly, a promise from God, bringing the word of love.
On that same wintry night, in the hills above Bethlehem, shepherds were quietly watching their watching over their flocks. The stillness was suddenly broken, and the sky was filled with joyous light and sound as angels brought news of Jesus' birth. The simple shepherds' amazement and fear was slowly overcome by the wonder and joy of the message, and they were not afraid. And the angel said to them, Behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among all with whom he is pleased. Luke 2, 8 through 14. So, in those first hours before dawn, the shepherds left the hills to seek the Christ child, as told by the angels. As they made their way into the quiet of Bethlehem, their path shone silver from the light of one bright star, which rose over the stable and remained fast there, the first sign to all the world that the promised Savior was born. And so it came to pass that word of the birth of the Christ child spread throughout the region. People rejoiced that the promise had been kept, and they believed. There were some who could not understand the power of deliverance through love, and they wondered how this tiny child could indeed be the promised miracle, Savior and King, the Prince of Peace. Thank you. 
And so now we celebrate that one night long ago when Jesus Christ, Savior and King, was born into the world. It was on that one night that God delivered us from endless despair and fulfilled the promise of salvation. It was on that one night that God sent his son Jesus to us, bringing the message of love and peace to all who believe in him. It was on that one night, that still and silent night, when the word of God resounded throughout the world. As we remember and celebrate the gift of his son, we have God's blessings in our hearts and are assured of his everlasting love. God's countenance is always upon us through his son, Jesus. As we go from this place, we take the joy of the promise of God's salvation with us. As we go from this place, we sing the praise of the angel song, glory to God in the highest and peace to all. Go tell the story from ages past. The promised holy child has come at last, for unto us is born a Savior who is Christ the Lord. <laughs> 